fashion lovers welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abiola i want to say merry christmas and happy new year in advance it's um we are so sorry it's been a while we posted um i have been very busy with the academy both online and offline if you are interested let me quickly ship it in in case you are interested in any of our online classes you can uh, contact us on the number that we have on the screen we have corset class so so simple trust me now you know i used i know how to you know simplify all those styles i think it's very very difficult to achieve and we also have a man-made class very very simple to two thousand they are so cheap and affordable and also in case you are interested in our physical class we are situated a number 33b phase two bus stop for man Lagos, and the new batch will be resuming this january you know you can plan towards it upgrades your fashion career you can come as beginners you know come and learn with the best fashion academy okay so let's get down to business yeah 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 so today we'll be learning how to make a pleated neckline using slash and spread that's manipulation trust me it is very 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 simple and then we in some meanings we will be done we we'll go through it together so like i said any style whatsoever you have to be you have to, you need a base which is your basic bodies so i have with me here my already drafted basic body but in case you are new to my youtube channel and you don't know how i came about this we will drop a link um i have done a detailed tutorial on basic bodies we'll drop the link for you so that you can fill along with us okay so you can see this is my front the back is just plain normal with that i have a waist that's here and i have a bust that's here so we need to open the that so as to close another but here we open it and close we open the waist that just follow me i also open the bus that I want to close this one. Please don't cut through. Make sure it's okay. Then you see, it will just open up for me, and I'll take down. For the bus that you want to leave it for now just leave the bus that for now we'll close it later so guys so for the pleated neckline from your center front this is my center front you can measure one inch or 1.5 this depends on what you want let me just do 1.5 i i want three lines there you can do more than three lines 1.5 1.5 so in case you need more you can do your one 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 inch then i'll connect this first line here i'll connect it straight to i'll still align with my marker so that we can see it clearly you connect it straight to the bus points now the these are our lines we are connecting it straight to these busts to your bust points line here and since we have 1.5 as a spacing on this bust point line you want to add half inch to it to make it two inches so if you have one inch here add one half inch to it to make it 1.5 so this is two inches can you see then the next one will be two inches i hope we understand so now this second line here we connect straight to this line 
Then the third line here on the neckline, it connects straight to this one. Can you see? But you can see if I try to close now, it's very difficult for me to close. So we need to slide this one so that this can be easy for us to close. So remember the pleated neckline from the from what I just said, neckline. So we are pleating this neckline. So we are going to open up this neckline. So let's go. I'm going to slash. Just do it gently. Please don't slash too gently. need to close this. I still have to slash it so that I can close this. Okay. Let me see. Remember the excess. So that's the reason why when you are cutting, when you can see I left, I deliberately left some space because you know now we are we used to have this um excess here that will blend through so you should do that or you blend it before cutting out so i like to use pencil of course because marker has a way of adding to your measurements. So, and so we have slash. Now we can now start spreading. I think the paper tip there. Okay. So the next thing for me to do now is to bring my a new paper so that we can spread. Let me bring the box. Okay, guys. So I told us I'll be getting another paper. So I have gotten a plain paper. It is on fold now. It's on fold. So I tape it down the center front on the folded edge of the paper with my paper tape. Can you see? Then what I did was on this bust um points that we have our lines i slashed the first one i'll be showing us how i did it i'll, I'll slide this one so that we can see then um, how much you want to spread depends on you depends on um the bigger depends on how big you want the plate to be and also depends on the um, um, fabric you have so i want to spreads like two inches two inches is fine for me so this is my two inches here it's just fine for me so this i'll spread this one to this so i love to confirm you will see i have two inches let me just confirm yes past the two inches i'll take it down so this I see this we can't move this so we need to slash from here but we won't slash through and see so that we'll be able to move it up and down so remember we are spreading by two inches my two inches is here so two inches i want to get the straight line so i have my two inches here
okay guys so we just take down then this other one remember we are spreading by two two inches it's around here then i'll take it down so we can even start taking down from the middle so this one's to start from the middle You see, we are done taping. What we want to do now is to go ahead and cut out. But before I cut out, I want to highlight all these lines. You know, the plain paper in between is our spread. And just extend these lines. All this plain paper. Okay. So you can just do something like this. From this neckline, don't just draw any lines from this neckline, from our neckline, so from where the neckline stops. So these triangles are the ones we will be pleating. So in case you want more lines, more pleats, I have told us what to do. So now let's start cutting. And let me take this side down. You need to tape as much as you can. You know, we still have excess on this side, so I'm cutting that excess out. This is the apple. shoulder so once you get here you just cut like you don't want to cut it exactly because when we are pleating you need the allowance so you open it up but before we open it up we want what we have here to appear here so you make use of your signal make use of your tracing with so i'll just go ahead now and trace out all these lines to the other side then we continue with the class okay guys so i am done transferring to the other side can you see so now uh we want to start pleating um the direction of your pleats depends on what you want 
you can make every you can you can bleed from this side to this side and this facing this side then, then you cannot bleed from here facing one direction and you can bleed from here facing this side then you can also bleed opposite each other so like i said it depends on what you want from the center front you can bleed to this side from the center front you can bleed to the other side from here you can bleed to face this can face the center front, this can face the center front, and this can face from here to the other side. So it depends. You don't have one way of pleating, it depends on what you want. So I will be pleating from here to this other side. So, like I said, these lines are our guidelines. They are the ones telling us that these are the ones that will spread. So let's go. This is the center front. So from here, this is a paper. So it is normal for it to be folded like that. It's just fine, just leave it. And remember our boss point is here. And so, so it's normal for it to give that shape of a bust. So don't try to press it down. Just it shows you are right. Can you see the bust is forming there? So I'll take down. Then the second one you will place. Then take down. Then this other one. The pleats. Like I said, it's a paper. Once you start doing it on your fabric. So I see this. Then this other side of pleats to this side. So beautiful. So what you want to do now is to transfer to fabric, but you will not transfer to fabric like this. You have to open it up. Open it up, then transfer to fabric. But before we open up to transfer to fabric, I want to cut out the upper parts because you know we have to. We have enough allowance there. I don't want to waste the fabric. So can you see? So what I want to do now is to cut out this upper part, but I am not going to cut it out like so. Then if you need to blend, please blend the neckline. Can you see? So that is the neckline. Now, now, I am not going to cut like this. I will add my half inch seam allowance so that I can cut out that half inch seam allowance. Before, because you don't want to cut like this. We cut like this, that is the seam allowance. Once we start putting again, it will not be equal. So let me quickly add my seam allowance, cut it out. I will bring you the fabric I want to use. Remember, when you are transferring to fabric, half inch is added to the side already. Remember to add your half inch here. This is the ammo part. This is the shoulder. Don't forget the side 1.5, 1.5. And you are cutting on fold. This is the back. Normal back. There's nothing special. Just the normal. This is the shoulder 0.5. The neckline 0.5. I'll add my super allowance. The down part 1.5 to the side. Half of 0 0.5. The down part to the so let me put in that then we transfer to five then to continue. Okay, guys, so I am done. Can you see so fast? So what you want to do is to pleat the paper and the fabric together. You just pick it like this. 
can you see? Then we pin. Then you pick the second one. Make sure you pick the fabric with it. And pin that. Remember, you are placing this to the side. Um, take it to the pressing table with your steam iron, please. With your steam iron and you press. You press it very well. You press the paper and the fabric together with your steam iron. After which, you try to sew it down. You know, once you've pressed, the pleats will be there. You can now remove the paper and stitch it down with 0 0.25 so as to secure the pleats so you cannot go ahead you can cut your facing or lining or any which one you want to use and then if you want to leave it like this that means you want to use bias to pack so guys we come to the end of the tutorial i'll just go ahead now cut my um press it down with my steam iron then display it for us to see the okay guys so you can see the outcome of our beautiful pleated neckline dress it is so beautiful so let me quickly say something if you still want um pleats at the center front you just repeat the same thing just split this side on the center front then the other side to so pleat it on the center front and you have your pleats at the center Front. I still remain your girl Abiola. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel and you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe. We are begging. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, you can follow us on our Facebook at Abiola Hapawel, uh, on our Instagram, and also on um, you can register for any of our online classes. Yes. See you in the next class. Bye.